This is Conscience. Make sure you watch the entertainment squeeze on RE TV Fridays, 8 p.m. Mud. The champion boy and girl Usain Bolt and Shelly and Fraser Price named sportsman and sportswoman of 2015. And Shana Chin hints about Gollybop's new love interest. I'm Saini and you're watching Entertainment Squeeze. Rebel Salute is known for delivering genuine, heartfelt reggae music and this year's staging was no different. Well, except the fact that weed smokers could freely smoke the herb without fear of being apprehended. The event was exempted under the Dangerous Drugs Amendment Act and one would assume that this exemption aided in the Irie vibes at Grizzles Plantation Cove in Prairie, St. Anne. Rebel Salute is the second event held in Jamaica which has been granted this exemption. The first event was Rastafari Roots Fest that was held late last year in Negril, Westmoreland. The whole energy from the event was powerful with crazy performance from veteran artists such as Sanchez who dominated night one. Is there anybody who has been a standout for you so far? Well, well, Sanchez. If Jah is standing by my side, then why should I? Rebel Solo 2016, what are you liking about it so far? It's very well put together, um, lovely production, the, the stage is beautiful, how they've set out all the stalls, the food, the merchandise, everything is perfect. Apart from the music, what are you liking most about the whole setup? The setup, I come from England, London, so we don't get to have black people like this, just enjoying themselves, chilling out for two days, it's very rare, so to me this is very special. Who has performed already tonight that you like? Uh, Abyssinians was great. Abyssinians was great. I'm not an I Octane fan, but he come and he niced up the place, vibes up the place, and now we have Queen Africa. Excellent. Anybody else looking forward to seeing? Um, Mavado. I'd love to see Mavado and see how he, how the crowd reacts to David Brooks, because it's not the, it's a, it's a traditional roots thing. So I'd like to see how they react to, to David Brooks. That'll be good. Would he be coming back next year? Definitely, without a doubt. <laughs> Definitely. It's got to be supported and I recommend everybody to come and support this because it's the one true reggae festival that we have and we can't let it go. Nesbeth captivated the crowd with My Dream and brought children on his set to help him sing. My dream, my dream, tell them my dream is to live my dream. Tell them who say in my sleep when me say him. Tell them my goal, my goal, my goal. All of my goal is to reach my goal. Live a happy life, put it on me headstone. Nobody no be cry over me then. Look at me now, when them treat me less than gold. Put me in a box like a rectangle. Barry's Hammond gave an unforgettable performance on night two as he performed hit after hit that got the crowd heated. Would you stop what you've been doing? 
Hurry over to see what's going on. Yeah. If you should see me crying, would you assist in mending a heart that has been broken? Oh, it could be you and me. With a life so free, never had to work at. Oh, live on. Wonderful. I think it's one of the best performances that I ever see for the year. Uh, for this long time. Really, really wonderful. Beres is just simply the best. Rebel Salute was no doubt an amazing two-night event with many underground and well-known artists. But the crowd, which consisted of people from yard and abroad, anticipated David Brooks, who hasn't performed in Jamaica in two years. <laughs> Rebel Salute began in 1994 as a birthday celebration for singer and promoter Tony Rebel. Getting high off the herb and high off good reggae music and idle food gave Rebel Salute a vibe that no other event in Jamaica could ever bring. After the break, highlights from the Bob Marley 71st celebration launch don't go away. This is Conscience. Make sure you watch the entertainment squeeze on RE TV Fridays, 8 p.m. March. Hey guys, only a few days until the King of Reggae's 71st birthday and the Bob Marley group of company has a lot planned. This year's celebration is under the theme Ride On and is being held in partnership with Digicel and Red Stripe. A launch ceremony was held at the Bob Marley Museum in Kingston where brand manager Debbie Bassoon gave an overview of what this year's celebration will entail. We want to know about the new line of food that you're coming out with for the cafe. Yes, Bob Marley's One Love Cafe, we're introducing a line of bowls called Bob's Bowls which come in a, a small serving of, well not small, it's quite it's generous. Quite our, generous. <laughs> our definition of small is really, me, yeah. yeah. Um, so we have a, a bowl of couscous and you can get red stripe infused jerk chicken on this bowl. You can also get Bob's Ito stew on this bowl. You can also get another bean stew on this bowl. Kalaloo yeah. on this bowl. Um, there's a raisin spice one for oh, breakfast. Lovely. It's awesome. So you gotta come check it out on February 6th. Yeah. Right, tell us about the lineup. I'm pretty sure our viewers want to know who is going to be performing. We've learned about the ambassadors, but tell us about the lineup. All right. So, I mean, on the sixth year, we have, we have we introduced for the first time last year the reggae jam sessions, and we're talking about a lot of local artists. Um, we have a young JR who's going to be performing on stage. Fingers crossed, Skip Marley is going to be in the building as well. Next Generation Marley, and of course, all our ambassadors, Jesse Royal, Kelissa, and Abum are going to be performing on stage. We have a number of other performers who's we we're not going to announce them because we want persons to come. All the celebrations. I want to make this totally clear. Jamaica, all the celebrations about Marley's concerts, the event is absolutely free only in the way that Marley would do it no charge whatsoever so we're encouraging persons to come here at 56 Hope Road and at Sabina Park on the 7 and celebrate with us it's gonna be wonderful and if you can come watch of course the 48 hours of Bob's streaming that's gonna be happening all over the place and also celebrate Bob in your schools and in the offices wear Bob Marley shirts sing about Marley's song there's so many ways to hail this legendary reggae icon all right, so you are one of the ambassadors for the 71st celebration. How does that feel for you? It's, a, it's an honor, you know, of course it's an honor, you know, Bob Marley. It doesn't get much, um, much greater, much inspiring than that. You know, there are few people like him who have inspired us all. So it's just an honor to, you know, be even merely walking in slightly, <laughs> if even slightly the path, you know, that he's trodden on. Um, you know, and we have to keep we have to keep giving praises to the great ones that come before us. And as a musician and even as a woman to be here and representing for that, that's you know, it's a joy. Give thanks. That was an amazing collaborative piece between you and Jesse Royal and Abamar. Do you think that there's gonna be a collaboration in the near future? Yeah, maybe, yeah, you know, we we'll open up the stage for it. It can happen. I mean, we collaborate all the time and we're on stage and we're freestyling and we're vibing and so, you know, there's, we're always open to, to making music with each other, you know.
Bob Marley Museum will host the official celebration on February 6th, the date on which Bob was born. It will be a day full of activities which includes the blowing of the abeng, releasing of doves and unveiling of a family mural. There will be a jam session which will feature Bob's 71st ambassadors Iva Marr, Jesse Royal and Kelissa among others. Usain Bolt and Shelly and Fraser Price walked away as Sportsman and Sportswoman of the Year again at the RJR Sports Foundation Annual Gala Awards Ceremony at the Jamaica Pegasus. The Pocket Rocket won for her brilliant performance in the 100 meters at the IAAF World Championships in Beijing, while the Lightning Bolt won the award for his achievement in copying three gold medals at the same event. Congrats Shelly Ann and Usain! Sort of start will he get? Well, certainly a tremendous start by Gatlin further out and Bolt into his drive now. Those two coming clear of the field now, and it's Gatlin and Bolt. And who's going to win it? It's very close, but it's the great man, I think. It's Bolt who's taken it. But Bolt's got out well, and watch out for Edward on the outside. But you say Bolt is up. He has a lead over Gatlin. Can the American come back? He's starting to close the gap. Justin Gatlin is trying to close, but Bolt's already smiling. Dare we ever doubt him? 19.56, Usain Bolt is just unstoppable. Good start by Shillian Fraser Price, already half a metre up, and Daphne Skippers is trying to chase her down, but Shillian Fraser Price is only going quicker and quicker. Skippers trying to get there for a second, and Shillian Fraser Price is it just, just Skippers was coming and coming. 10.76, so quick from Shillian Fraser Price, but my goodness, 20 metres more, and Skippers would have reeled her in. The Dutch athlete celebrates wildly at her silver medal, so she should. But Shelly Ann Fraser Price holds on once more for the world title, once more. She is the fastest, she is the queen. Skippers don't want to run from her to take silver, but Shelly Ann Fraser Price has done it once more. Shelly Ann Fraser Price will be very pleased with the victory, but I'm not so sure she'll be pleased with the run itself. The start wasn't as electric as I was expecting it. Don't go away. When we come back, Shauna Chin removes the padlock and opens up about Golly Bob, his new girlfriend and career. This is Conscience. Make sure you watch the entertainment squeeze on RU TV Fridays, 8 p.m. March. You know you have to go live up a film girlfriend She make him hype till him dissy down down a grand slip No, she have a man a wear all him on the pants tip You see? The ex-girlfriend of dancehall artiste Golly Bob is determined to make her side known and she visits us here at Ari TV to do just that. I gain, I gain love for him being around him even though people keep on I said okay I'm with him which I wasn't. I just let them go and think what they want to think because it's only me and him and God know and other people who is around. Um, I gain love for him being around him because he can he make you laugh a lot. I'm always be funny, but then since progress start to make and money start to make, it's like him start to be more miserable, more than happy. Every girl want to walk off of me. Yeah. Boom. Every girl said they want peace of me. Um, Bob wasn't a madman, you know. He wasn't a madman. Um, he's just a person where him, him fix everything. Him can fix lighting gear, this thing gear, everything him can fix. But him just never take care of himself because of that thing. I teach him how to beard, I teach him how to brush his face and his teeth. And I teach him everything, how to dress, have any uppers with him jaggers and him shirt, how to bring, put himself together, and me put him together. I teach him how to dial a number on his phone. He don't know if how to go in a text message until this day. And that's why I catch him like a new girlfriend, where two of them master, mastermind them, them like a game, and say them come catch me with man. Bob is a person like this. He love talking. He will talk and talk and talk, 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 things where he don't even know. No. Bop like for be a center of attention. So Bop went and about the part interviews. You see if not in a while now going for Bop, Bop will just come up with some type of lie. Just like how we keep on I say, oh more married her and then when time marriage paper get done, he start get trouble. Then he start telling us I'm pregnant <laughs> which he never accomplished. He maybe try <laughs> but it never come true. Dream, 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 dream. Bob, come back with the scamming thing. No, it's because Bob is trying to get 
Bob is so upset at me and Bob don't want to see nobody come around me. He want everybody to just leave me and drop me like that. So he, he come up with all type of lies. He tell, he tell about everybody a scam him. He even say he self a scam him. This time he got more with me, we do investigation. He, do, he was under investigation also because they claimed that they talked to Gullibop and then talked to Miss Chin. So he was being investigated also. And uh, that's all in keep on tell no, because each show, any show that I book, I always let him see the contract and see the money in front of me, his face. If he want to give me my percentage, um, if I'm taking my percentage, I take it right in front of him. If he want to give me money uh, for being his woman, ain't nothing wrong with that. I have all the recordings of Bop because Bop always a record. Bop is a person like this. Me and him then, uh, uh, if I talk to him about something, I say, Bop, in a right for you, for you drive up and down all over in Jamaica. And everybody I see it every day. You're yes, an entertainer. You can't make people just see you, see you, see you. So at the same spot, them. He starts styling me, and he go up on his phone and do a selfie video and tell be a lie on me. Talk at, Bob drive with me, got river, you know, with me and everybody, you know. And just because of the distance of the place, you know, that the place is so far, because it's all by St. Thomas, we have got mineral. And Bob get mad and say, them places nobody not exist. And this and that, not even light, no, they out here. So, da, 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 get mad. Get mad, you know, and start to video himself and tell life on me, say, him, catch me. Same thing when you see him, he must say, now in the house, he come catch me, I do. It's same thing, him say, him, catch me. And I video himself, I drive behind me while we say, you know what, we can't deal with this because he want to fight with me and I never up to it. If you and your female do having a, a, compli a, a thing at home where you don't keep on go back and forth, you need to find a solution. If you can't find a solution to it, you move on. You know, come up with this lies to make she look bad and him and she not come up with lies to make him look bad neither. With my thing with the video it was totally different why me have a video it because at the other night two three o'clock in the morning papa stab off of me and nobody was there his girlfriend was living downstairs and she never come out to come help me you understand me so this time one time he might attack me i just have to lift up my video because i never have no phone card for call nobody so service step on my phone and the first thing jump on my mind I said because if we've been tussling outside at that car for how long because he had a block in his hand to drop in the car on me i went and lift up the video and put it down yeah okay, papa mash up the car and you kick up the car with me in you see me you ma mash up the car see my run off for me i try to kill me this girl she surfaced from being she she live at the same place where we live the apartment with Pantason of him studio and everything. She lived downstairs, she have three kids, but she live with down there. Um, she been accompanied with Bob, but I kind of pick up the one and two things, but I never did a really I look the way they come here say, me look better than she, so if you want to pick her up, I feel business that. <laughs> That's how I had it. I never really pay her in mind, but I see her text him phone. I'm still trying to put that apart uh, aside same way. Um, Cause him say I'm friend. Him swear upon the cross, just like how I'm swear upon the cross, saying come catch me with man. And the camera them up there. For those who out there that was bl uh, that are blaming me, well, I'm um, can't say. When time in if their grand spend the walk past on him, no, not even family member, not even the pitch pan him. I just me see talent and I me see, me see people are rub him in a dub plate and him have on a dirty pants and a dirty shirt for three days and him have him a do dub plate, dub plate, dub plate and that's where I fell in. I came and cleaned him up and make him seem worth. Hey God, I know about like me. And I know about like me. The tattoo, you know what? I don't know as yet, you know. I want to just stick around and see what I'm going go on with it. Cause at the end of the day, he do something for me and I do something for him. What he do for me? He make me be brave. He, do, he make me be brave for face crowd and can do my thing and DJ and sing. So him, of course, he do something for me. I never have faith in myself. I never have 
the motive there's somebody behind me like how did behind him for push me and say chin you have talent here you can do this you can do that i don't have nobody like that around me i just go around the music industry i go around the people them and see how them do them thing and try get a humor for build my own but when you, all these years of people knowing me they never know something could have sing because I've been around Joe at Downsound since 14, 15 year old. Me always a give out flyers, go down there, get flyer. I give out for DSR, DSR and them never look at me and say, only the engineer, they find out something I could have sing, but I never take it on. I never serious, I never ready. What made me ready now is because Bob, all the time, time I try to stay low key, with Bob him still bring me out there in the media. No, I try to make me look bad. So I have to take it serious. I have a seven year old child, eight year old child. He's eight now, October passed. I have an eight year old child to take care of. I may have to think about him and might as well do something with my love. Because I've been growing up in it. I used to sing church choir. I grew up in church. I go to karaoke to feel like Beyonce. And yeah, so <laughs> I just time now. I think it's time. <laughs> Depend, despite uh, everybody where I cuss me out, I'm still gonna do it. They gonna motive me to push harder. Where am I in my career now? Um, well, I just got signed for three years from a record label um, in the US. Uh, it's called Diamond Music Empire. Um, I did a song for them like a couple months ago um, while producing Bop on the side and I did it. And no, they just, they didn't want to be a part of my career, but they didn't, just because I'm, just because of me having so much to do, it didn't get to fit in. But no, it's the right time, when time the whole thing, saga, and things that make it seem like I'm the worst person. They came along and said, you know what? You got have good talent. You can't hide from the world. Ooh, singles. I plan to put out an EP for myself, yes. But I think I'm gonna drop it like February or March. Cause I have so many songs and some of them get been heard and some who think I'm just getting anything, they haven't heard them as yet. Um, but I perform them at everywhere else I go to, so you will see an EP coming out from me, definitely. And all of my songs, them you can always relate your life to them because it's different, and it's it's totally different. I just think it, my sound and music is different from everybody else. So it's a good look. I write my own lyrics. I meds the rhythm. And it, dep it depends on what I'm going through right now. If it's something I'm going through or how I feel, I put that feeling in the music. If not, and it's something fun or something to just talk about, then I just saw it go. But yeah, the song I'm going to do is to go back at the song because MG is a, a Philadelphia artist that I, I helped also. And he turned against me with Bob and make song Delilah, which he, did, he don't know what happened. So I just, I just, I didn't pay attention to them, I just answered up with him, Delilah. So, one teeth boy, yo, you chat so much, eh? You're miserable and you love because in the middle of the night when can go for light, you a pick argument. Wa. Me could take it no longer, cause you never know if you control your anger. You follow friends and want to diss me up when you should have kiss me up, that's why I take the padlock and fix you up. It honestly won't be easy to look at Chin without seeing Bob but I hope her career shoots off without him. The two are however confirmed to perform at Brit Jam in March. That's it for this week's entertainment squeeze. Thank you Jennifer from Flirt Boutique JA for this gorgeous dress. Be sure to follow them on Instagram at Flirt Boutique JA and to follow us at IRETV Jamaica. Hashtag resqueeze. Have a great weekend everyone. You a pick argument, won't beat me up Me could take it no longer Cause you never know if you control your anger You follow friends and want to diss me up When you should have kissed me up That's why me take the bad luck and fix you up
This is Conscience. Make sure you watch the Entertainment Squeeze on RETV Fridays, 8 p.m.